What's going on YouTube? I'm the Tattooed Entrepreneur and today I'm gonna to be breaking down Andy Frisella's genius marketing strategy and how it might help you turn the needle on your business in 2019. Listen, I'm excited to do this video, all right? I was planning on doing it for a while. We're gonna get deep. We're gonna go into psychology a little bit. We're gonna talk about social validation. We're gonna talk about how it pertains to marketing. We're gonna talk about how it can create a chain effect of sales for your business. All right, so first we gotta talk about who Andy Frisella actually is. Some of you might be finding this channel for the first time. Uh, here on my channel, we talk everything. Facebook, Instagram growth, growth hacking on all social platforms. Uh, we talk about e-commerce, digital marketing. You know, we're just getting started. Now, who is Andy Frisella? If you don't know who Andy Frisella is, you need to Google him right now because Andy Frisella is the CEO of one of the leading sports nutrition companies, First Form International. Protein powders, supplements, anything you could think of in the fitness niche, he sells it. Andy Frisella is also one of the highest paid keynote speakers in the world. He's proven successful in five different businesses, all over $200 million a year in sales, and he was featured in Forbes magazine in 2016 as the leading entrepreneur of the year. So if there's anybody to take information away from and to mimic a marketing strategy, it would probably be Andy Frisella. Now listen, and this isn't bashing Andy Frisella because I love the guy's content. He motivates me. He is one of the reasons why I pursue the things that I pursue because he does have a podcast and I used to listen to it faithfully. Not so much anymore because I've moved on to my own things. But if you're looking for that kind of content, that cutthroat, raw, swearing, that type of content, if you're looking for that type of motivational stuff, check out Andy Frisella. And Andy Frisella, if you see this, I'm sorry for giving away your marketing strategy, brother. So listen, there's gonna be a few key parts to this video, but first I wanna show you the active ad campaign that Andy Frisella started sending out probably through the middle of 2018. Now I'm not sure who Andy Frisella is targeting with this ad, but it does come up on my Instagram. I've gotten it through my Instagram story, so that's how I'm able to show you. Now here's what Andy Frisella sends out. Want to be a sponsored athlete. Now that comes from first form. Now look at the wordplay. Want to be a sponsored athlete. Start now, swipe up, join today. Now what actually happens when you swipe up is it takes you to a landing page where you put all your information in and you basically become an affiliate marketer. But the way he's worded it, right? Sponsored athlete. Now what Andy Frisella is doing that is absolutely genius is he's playing on the public's need for social validation. Now let's go into social validation for a second. If you haven't watched my business video, I'll link it above. Now social validation is a primitive emotion that we have from back when we were cavemen. We belong to clans and the reason why we fear what people think or the reason that we feel we need to be validated by other people is because when we were in these groups and clans back when we were cavemen, if people didn't like us, they would ostracize us, we'd be banished from the clan and we'd be left on our own. And left out on our own, we would die. So we've carried, we've instinctively carried these emotions through the years. And that's why a lot of us are are constantly worried about what other people are thinking about us. We're constantly looking for validation somewhere. Now Andy Frisella uses social validation in more than one way with his marketing campaign. Now the actual definition of social validation is a psychological phenomenon where one or more passive individuals follow or conform to the actions of other individuals in a group. So one or more people set an example of behavior and it in turn gets a few other people in the group to, to follow that same behavior. Now social validation in marketing is slightly different, but it still represents kind of a chain reaction that leads other individuals into certain behavior. You could take, for instance, a Google review. If one of your peers leaves a Google review on a product that says they love this product, gives it a five stars, recommends it, people have grown to distrust brands, especially large corporations. So when you see your peer recommending these businesses, you're more likely to buy from them because that is social validation. You've been socially validated by that person and now you're more willing to purchase a product from these people. All right, so why is that two photo ad so powerful for Andy Frisella? Now number one, it's obviously playing on people's need for social validation. A lot of people aren't just gonna wanna be an affiliate marketer. Now when you tell somebody that they are a sponsored athlete instead of an affiliate marketer, that plays off their need for social validation. Now they can go and tell their friends that they are a first form sponsored athlete. Because most people in the fitness industry know about first form. And 
when they hear that you're a sponsored force form athlete, you know, they're gonna be like, oh wow, like, you know, like how, how did you, how did that happen? Like, you know, it's gonna start playing off of all that social validation. There's gonna be that chain reaction where you automatically become an authority figure and people are gonna start listening to you about the products. And now, why number two is it so genius is Andy Frisella is able to leverage these people's followings without having to use any marketing budget except for the one he did to reach the influencer or the person that's gonna become the sponsored athlete to begin with. So he's leveraging these people's followings without having to reach them himself. That's huge. So now you have somebody pushing your products to their following, creating a chain reaction of social validation through the ranks in which they're gonna sell your products for you without you having to use your marketing budget to reach these people. Not to say that if you do reach these people, they're gonna trust you because they might not know who you are. They might not know who Andy Frisell is. They know who, who John Davis is, the sponsored athlete for First Form, and now they're willing to buy products off of him because he's a sponsored athlete for First Form. Andy Frisell is a genius for this. I may or may not agree with it, because I'm okay with follow on follow and I don't really have a moral encompass for that, but you know, having 100,000 minions running around saying they're sponsored first form athletes so that they could sell a bunch of protein powders to people trying to work out and trying to look for nutritional products, you know, do I think it's right? I mean, it is what it is. It works, you know, us as marketers, we're looking for something that works and creating that chain reaction it works. The proof is in the pudding for Andy Frisella. You know, he's making millions off of First Form. That, uh, that company has just absolutely blown up. All right, now think about it. You know, I don't know who ex exactly is following uh, this YouTube channel. I don't know what your businesses are, but think about how you can use this for your own business. Now, it's almost like in real estate when you f see a sign that says for sale by owner. Buy that house and you're living in it, but then you rent it out to somebody else and take the cash flow off of it. You literally just can leverage social validation from other people. You know, if you're selling products, if you're selling anything, uh, like, like for me, for instance, I have my own clothing line, you added apparel. Now, if I start messaging athletes and saying, hey, you wanna be a sponsored athlete? Basically just tell them that I'll send them some free clothes and give them an affiliate link. And you know, they're gonna be more apt to tell people they're a sponsored athlete for Yadda Apparel than I'm gonna Yadda Apparel affiliate. The wordplay there is huge. The way you present your marketing strategies to people is gonna ultimately determine whether or not you succeed. And Andy Frisella has done an amazing job at leveraging social validation in marketing to expand his business to people that he couldn't have reached if he hadn't have done it. So what did we learn today? Social validation plays a huge part in marketing. It may not always be morally right. At least I, you know, I'm a little iffy about it, but if it works, Who's to say you shouldn't be using it? If it can work for your business, then that's huge. I would sit down, I would think about whether or not you'd be able to use this strategy, and I would start thinking up some schemes to you know, get the ball rolling, get that chain reaction rolling for you and your business. So listen, I had fun doing this video. I like breaking down other people's marketing strategies. I like reviewing other people's philosophies. I'm gonna do one more video on Roberto Blake's Instagram philosophy. Uh, that's gonna be a good one, so that'll be coming up. Listen guys, I'm making a Facebook group and now I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to sell some masterclass. I'm not trying to sell anything. I just want to get a mastermind of other people like me in a group where we can share our ideas, share our marketing strategies. You, can, you guys can share your YouTube videos with me. I could share some content with you and we could just you know, talk about digital marketing, talk about growing on Instagram, talk about growing on Facebook, talk about e-commerce. So I'm gonna link that Facebook group down below and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.